at the moment we're, we're, we've got three days of um, preparation on the wall um, where we're brushing brushing the wall and then we're going to be stabilizing it with a, with a solution before we use paint on it again to try and stop some of the oxidizing and all the bubbling that's happened before on it because of the moisture um, so we'll just be literally brushing and brushing and brushing until we've got a, a, a half decent surface to work over and then we can apply the stabiliser by brush and roller. So, we've got a couple of days hard graft and clearing away you know, any overhanging uh, plants and weeds and there's all thorns along the top of the wall. I was invited to project manage the uh, repainting of the train mural at Wolverton by the Inland Waterway Association branch in Milton Keynes. My wife and I have been members for many years and we have worked on the mural in the past when we've repainted it as a result of it being heavily weathered or badly graffitied at times. The far end, the southern end of the mural was very badly graffitied and it absolutely destroyed the locomotive at that end of the train and a number of carriages. Additionally, it had been badly weathered over the past few winters and consequently in 2010 the IWA branch decided that they would try and raise funds and get interest from the local community and other parties in refurbishing it. We've received support from the IWA from Milton Keynes Community Foundation with a direct grant and from Wolverton and Greenlees Town Council a direct grant. A gateway had been incorporated into the mural when it was created and the gate had actually been destroyed in the meantime leaving a gap in the mural further on from the graffiti work. The wall was rebuilt by the Milton Keynes Christian Foundation. They take young adults and teach them skills and on this occasion it was brick laying skills as part of a building skills program that they run. They've been funded by Electrolux PLC who are the company who own the top of the wall and the car park beyond it in which their lorries are operating. But this is a stabilising solution um, that'll help the wall uh, you know to last longer and to knit together any of the paint that's been falling off and scraping and there's bits of the wall falling off and so on and so forth so we're stabilizing it the whole wall completely first before we lay the masonry paint down after that The probation service have been involved with the project from its inception. They provided, back in 1986, volunteers to support Bill Billings when he was doing the original artwork. When the project began in May 2010, they showed an interest. They have provided community offenders to support us over one of the two weekends we worked with volunteers. They painted the blocks of black or white surfaces on the mural, leaving the fine detail to be completed later. Uh, this is day four of the community days and now we've pretty much finished all the black along the bottom. There's only one small section to do. Um, we've nearly got the top section completed in white as well and we're just starting to add details on it and tomorrow we'll start with small brushes adding the fine details. Bill was an inspiration for many people and the three artists who have been working on the project with us who have led the project have been 
Ryan, Bill's son, who was involved as a five-year-old in painting the mural. Neil has worked with and lived with, in fact, Bill over the years and has worked on art projects with him. And David, who is the lead artist, although he uh, has come back to England, he spent much of his adult life in Australia and brought back his community art skills from there. And he knew Bill. Bill had been his inspiration. So and Bill struck me as, you know, not your conventional artist. Um, he wasn't trying to fit into the art scene or anything. He was just, he just wanted to express himself. And he encouraged us in that as well, and to, to do community work and, and stuff that we were starting to do. And just a really positive, encouraging figure who was older, when a lot of people sort of uh, get down on the main art we do, graffiti art, he was an encouraging figure there for that. stage of the wall now it's uh it's, it's like our final day really working and um we're applying the the final touch-ups and all the detail onto the mural with the aerosols um and just creating really nice you know solid line work all along enjoyed the project uh, it's been it's been really a challenging project because it's such a, a big wall and the condition of the wall and, and stuff but um, it's been really enjoyable to see it develop um, the community come down and interact and um, working with the waterways the councils and the, the general atmosphere has been positive even though it, it has been challenging <laughs> 